All right, hello everybody. Welcome back um, to another video. This is a follow-up of the one that I did about two or three hours ago. Um, this is the mob farm in our desert perimeter and I've improved it significantly. This is about three to four times faster than it actually was. So you'll notice some key differences. So we basically redesigned the entire killing floor. So this is now completely different. So when a mob falls and dies here, their items will just get pushed through the fence gate and anything that doesn't die um, will get pushed into the water streams and then carried until they despawn. Well, they'll actually just be out of the despawn range of the player, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so this farm is pretty much done. It needs a better um, interface because right now it's pretty much bland. You just have a lever at the top and a lever at the side, not even, so. I forgot we removed that. So it's the same farm. Actually, I had to rebuild it because there was a bunch of bud powering and block 36 is there. And yes, I put some glass over it. Here, I'm going to turn it um, off here so that we get a little less lag. Turning it off is quite a lot of lag, though, because we got to turn off all those redstone lamps, you know? Turn them on. Yeah, my PC is a bit of a potato. It is a potato. Not a bit of a potato. It just is one. So now that those are on, so it should actually completely stop. So there should be no mob spawning whatsoever. And yeah, see, so we changed this so that it's, instead of being like five layers tall, which was insane, it's only two blocks tall now, or two layers rather. So the way it works is a mob will spawn on this iron block here. And then the trip will go, oh, there's something there. And then it will go, it will send a uh, update to these this piston here and it'll push a glass block directly in front of it as, long with, as well as this one so they can't get stuck. I guess you could use slime blocks in theory if you wanted to, but there's not really any point to put obsidian in here in slime. I don't, don't do that, that's an awful idea. And then there's walls here so that spiders don't spawn because spiders would fill up the mob cap and break this thing and save me fast. The only problem with this thing is bats. And you can see it actually isn't affecting it too bad right here. But if they're flying around in here, you get tons of lag. And so you can probably make just a small bat switch, like right there. Or somewhere hidden, it doesn't really matter where. Yeah, so here you can see one of the mobs that didn't get killed. And it's just chilling here. Not much going on with it. So that is kind of the only inefficiency is the mobs with feather falling in armor. They'll, they won't die. But yeah, so that's that. And then we also have... Uh, it was a bit of a struggle to fit this in here, and it's still not perfect. It's actually really not perfect. So the items come in down um, here. They're all coming in down there into this same elevator here, but here. And it's kind of weird because it's not always centered. It's, sometimes it's like here and here and here and here, and sometimes it just falls off. And it's it's not a great system. So I'm probably going to have to improve this. But the problem was that it was built at Y0, which was pretty stupid so whatever um so you'll see, you'll see the items get filtered in here they get sucked into there and then pushed up this glass tube and i just picked up a bunch of items that are stuck here okay that should fix that <laughs> look at how much items i've made up um so yeah so this farm is about eighty thousand or a hundred eighty to 100 and probably 10,000 items an hour. I think it's actually 110. So yeah, it's pretty monstrous. This is definitely one of the bigger mob farms. It is the biggest mob farm we have. Um, and these lights up here are just controlled via repeaters and redstone. This is probably the laggiest part of it is just the lighting system. It's actually a really lag free mob farm. It's not that CPU intensive, you could probably build this up in a single play world in probably about eight hours, I say. Probably if you had the resources all picked out. You could just use any block for this, it doesn't really matter. You don't even have to use glass, you can use any block you want. It's recommended that you use a glass though, because then bats can't spawn there, and then that starts a whole problem. Use glass, I think, yeah, probably use glass for it, that would probably be best. And then the walls, all you really need is. Blocks, glass, trip wires, sticky pistons. So you need a pretty boss slime farm for this. Tons of sticky pistons. So be careful with what you're building. And yeah, this still works in Minecraft as, as I think it does. Because um, mobs can still spawn with their head and string. 
and it should work pretty well. So this collection system here we have, I don't know if I already showed this, but it when they fall through here, it immediately turns off this powered rail, updating this piston. After I'm a bit tired, it opens this fence gate, so if any mobs fall here and don't die, it opens them and then they fall down into the water stream. And if they did die, then their items would get pushed off to the side, aligned with that. And then there's just a bunch of water streams that pile them all the way down to here. And it's about 100, 110,000, I think. 80 to 110,000. So it's a pretty, pretty boss farm, definitely. And I think I want to do some artwork to the top of it. I'm not too sure what I want to do. But, I mean, it looks pretty cool on this perimeter, and we're going to have a bunch of these little buildings all around. And, yeah, I'm pretty excited to start on this project. It's really just begun, because the whole building around it... And we've gone through, like, 16 alterations of this mob farm. Um, I'll show some of them off. One of them's this way. So, one of them was a shifting floor design by Omango. Um, and the only reason we didn't keep it was because of the lag it produced. This is probably one of the laggiest mob farms I've ever built in my life. This thing causes so much lag. It's super efficient. It's like 80,000 some drops an hour. But it's, it's just not great. It's very laggy. So the mobs will spawn up on these layers here. And then these floors will shift. And then they'll sh and shuffle them off to the bottom every two seconds. But it's extremely laggy, as you can uh, yeah, probably imagine. And yeah, it doesn't work that great. And then uh, and one more alteration we had. We had about five farms, I think, throughout the duration of this. That was the second one I think we did. The first one we did was a flushing base. Then we did that one. Then we did the one I'm about to show you. Then we had like 13 alterations of the one that I have in there right now. And we also had like 13 alterations of this one. And there was bigger ones. And there's just tons. And you can see this one is pretty efficient really i mean you can this is probably about eighty thousand drops an hour this mob farm so it's not it's probably a little bit more than 80 no it's probably like sixty thousand actually it's really slow because it takes time for the mobs to get through it because let's say they'll spawn like here it'll take them a while until they're filtered down to the bottom so that's why this farm is so slow it doesn't free up the mob cap as fast but there is definitely in an outflux of items for sure. Um, yeah, so this is, we kind of just have a bunch of temporary mob farms really set up like this. This is just a massive perimeter. I might end up expanding this perimeter more. I'm not too sure about that yet because it's, I don't know, maybe. Also, the lag from the hover minecarts that's caused by these guys are insanely laggy. Maybe in the nether I can see you using them, but not in an overworld mob farm. Don't use them, it's an awful idea. And yeah, there's just a little village calmly sitting here, separating the two perimeters. They're about 100 blocks apart, 200 blocks, maybe 250. Like maybe 300, I don't even know. I don't, nor do I care. Um, probably the most interesting thing about this mob farm to some people is, I don't know if it's going to catch it. No, it doesn't. But there, oh yeah, it does. There's a pretty cool glass effect right there. You can hear my computer, it's struggling to handle that. You can see my frames go from about 20 to, um, um, a little over 100. And yeah, so I want to get some decoration going on for this thing, because obviously right now it's not looking too pretty. We already have a block palette figured out, so these are the blocks we want to use. Some jungle wood, some oak wood, some other stuff, some glass, whatnot. And yeah, so I hope to do other videos like this. I might even live stream on Twitch. I'll uh, link my Twitch in the, in the description if you want to go watch it. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, obviously, hit the like button. I haven't really said that much because I don't really care about likes. It's just showing off what I've created. and you know. So thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, goodbye.